Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I will be showing you the new manual staff visibility feature brought to Dorico 3.5 that allows you to specify exactly which instrument staves are visible at any point in your music. Many keen Dorico users will already know that it was previously possible to hide empty staves by way of a set of layout options in the vertical spacing category. These options have now been renamed Staff Visibility, but work in the same way they always have. I would recommend still using these options to set up your layout initially, and then use the new manual feature to tweak the results as needed. As I'm sure you'll appreciate, the visibility of staves works on a system-by-system system, system. In other words, staves are either present or hidden for an entire system at a time. As a result, manual staff visibility changes take effect alongside system and frame breaks. In Dorico 3.5, when you double-click a system or frame break, or press Enter with one selected, then it opens the new manual staff visibility dialog. If you don't have a system or page break at the relevant point already, you can make a selection at the point you would like the change to occur and open the Edit menu or right-click on the page and choose Staff, Manual Staff Visibility. A system break will be created at that point. Each staff of every instrument in the flow is listed. If you wish to make a change for a specific staff, enable it using the slide switch, then choose to explicitly show or hide it. If you have previously set the visibility of a staff manually, and want now to return it to the setting the prevailing layout options would result in, choose Reset. Note that you can show or hide just one staff of a grand or multi-staff instrument. At the bottom of the dialog are some handy controls to set all staves to Reset, Show or Hide that can be useful first steps when making settings on a larger ensemble. Pressing OK applies your changes to the layout. In order to remove a manual staff visibility change, simply delete the system or frame break where it occurs. If you want to retain the break, then open the manual staff visibility dialog again and deactivate the slide switches for each staff, which can be done in one click by pressing clear all. I do hope you've found this video helpful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it and subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.